Everybody want to be a gangster. Nobody want to go to jail, huh? This just will come with it. Whether you like it or not, this just will come with it, man. What up, y'all? It's Stan Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. And I want to talk about K Flock, right? K Flock has been locked up for about a year now. As a lot of his fans know, if you happen to be watching this video, I'm saying that for the people who don't know. And for the people who don't know, and for some of his fans who do know, as of yesterday, he's been indicted on federal charges for RICO. The full details of the RICO indictment have not come out yet, but it includes the body that he's tied into with the Trinitario situation, right? Now, a couple people in my comment section about my last video saying that me wishing jail on him is a bad thing, like it's crazy. But I'm here to say this, right? Everybody wants to be a gangster until it's time to do that gangster time. There's a specific kind of time that gangsters get. There's specific kind of charges that gangsters get. And I'm going to say right here, right now, the top six reasons why K-Flock deserves to stay locked up. Now, this is in relation to K-Flock, but this goes out to all young dudes that are in the streets right now, and you out here trying to be a gangster, you getting in the shootouts, you pistol whipping people, you poking people up. This is the other side of trying to be a gangster and trying to be clout. So without further ado, let's get to it. Reason number one, right? Everybody loves to glorify the street life. But this is what comes with the street life, okay? Death or prison. This is what every single young kid knew about the streets before he decided to go into the streets. That is only two ways, okay? Two ways. Death or prison. That's the only way you leave in the streets. And if you ask me, K Flock is lucky to be alive, okay? K Flock, young celebrity, hood celebrity, having open beef with all these different type of competitors openly getting into situations online, threatening to do stuff to people, right? He is lucky to be alive. Not only could he have been locked up even earlier for taking someone's life, how about the fact that there's a chance that he wouldn't even have made it this far. He wouldn't have even made it to become a rap star in the hood and know what it's like to make thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. At least he got to do that. He's alive now. He has the opportunity to be in prison, right? Get his mind right, reflect on what he did wrong, and if he happens to be able to come home, whatever amount of time, 8 to 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, whatever, he has the opportunity to be a positive influence on children the moment he gets home. Reason number two, why K. Flock deserves to remain locked up. Now he finally gets the opportunity to understand who he truly is, prove to the whole world who he really is, right? And like I said, this isn't particularly about K-Flock. I have to say that for all you sensitive, like, fucks out there. This is not an attack on K-Flock. He's known in my neighborhood. He's cool people in my neighborhood. I like some of his songs. It's only so much song. It's only so much I can take. Just hearing anybody just this, 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 and not really talk about nothing on the track. But some of that stuff is dope, and it's entertaining to watch. And I'm saying, watch the young guys, you know, do their dances. Just like how we used to do when I was their age and when I was a little bit younger than that. But now, with him remaining in jail and possibly going to the feds, now he has the opportunity to really see who he really is. You said you was a gangster. Everyone, including Gunner, T.I., whoever you want to call a rat, right? Before they went to prison, they said, if I go to prison, I'm never going to tell on my brothers. I'm going to stay solid. I don't care if they offer me 100 years. I don't care if they give me the death penalty. I'm going to stay solid. So now the whole world gets to see who k Flock really is, including any other young guys, right, who are going to be involved in this federal indictment. And when I say any young guys, I mean this. k Flock is cool with people from the neighborhood where I grew up in. It's very possible that a couple of them young guys from the hood is going to get wrapped up in this too. And here's the thing. Y'all better stand on that business. Y'all better stand on that business, man. Everybody was a gangster. Everybody wanted to be a gangster. Everybody done smoked mad blunts with their boys and said, hey, I ain't never going to tell. Whenever you find out about someone else stitching, right? You made fun of them. You spoke on it. Now we get to see who K-Flock and the rest of these guys really are. Now they get to prove to themselves who they really are. Who they really are. Because it's all fun and games until the DA is telling you, hey, look, listen, we want to give you 25. You sure you don't want to give us any information? Number three, K-Flock is a menace to society and everybody knows this. Every fan of K-Flock and his um enemies, they're all menaces to society. And I have a right to say that. And I would say that to anyone's face. I would say that to any of their faces because I used to be the same way. 
I used to be the same way, okay? I was called a menace to society in front of my mother in court, okay? And they wanted to give me way more time than I even ended up getting. And I still had to cop out the time that I didn't want to do. But K Flock and all the other little dudes he's running with, all menaces to society. Are we going to say that they're not? I can understand you're a fan of K Flock and you're a fan of all the other cats, his enemies, and, and the dudes who he run with because you like their music. But if you saying that, that you upset with me for feeling like they deserve to remain in jail so they can mature and grow the hell up, you don't really care about them. Anybody who's about to say, hey, or anyone gonna watch this video and say, hey, you bugging for what you saying about Flock, this, that, and the third. First of all, I care about K Flock and them kids more than y'all do. Because I got, because this is something that I would have told them if I was in the hood next to them. Like, yo, you gonna go to jail, you better stand on that business. You, you, you acting real tough. You know you're gonna go to jail, right? You know you're gonna go to jail. Everyone who's acting like I'm wrong for saying this, here's the thing, right? You ain't never been to prison, most likely. You don't understand that a lot of times prison is the only way where a young man gets the opportunity to sit down and really, and really work on himself and really understand what respecting another man is. When you're stuck somewhere with four walls and there's no running if you disrespect somebody, you got to take your head up or worse, head in butt. You know what I'm saying? You don't really care. Y'all don't really, y'all are just fans. Y'all don't really care about K-Flock and be loving them if they get wrapped up in this. Y'all just want them to be out and free, right? So they continue to, so they can continue to destroy their communities, right? None of these, none of these young guys, none of these kids are, are, are certified shooters to where they've been at a gun range. So they're getting into all types of shootouts. Innocent people are getting shot and their lives are being taken away from them. None of this is about money, right? Y'all just want them to be out so they continue to be uh, 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 deviants in the community for your entertainment. That's what this is about. These young guys are privileged to be alive and be able to go to prison to get their mind right and reflect on what they did wrong. So if they get the opportunity to go home, they will not make those same mistakes again. It's a privilege for these young guys to go to prison instead of having their lives taken away and they don't have the opportunity to be introspective and self-reflect and become something better than who they were. Let me give y'all one extreme example of how K. Flock was a menace to society and an idiot, okay? And why he needs prison. And all the young boys who act the same way, they need to go to prison. Not because it's gonna make them miserable, but it's because it's gonna make them value their freedom and learn respect for the people around them and themselves, okay? I remember watching this this, this one video, K Flock was on live, right? Making threats to his enemies, they're in the car. There's some girl driving his car and they looking out the window, they're trying to run down on enemies and stuff like that, right? Right? You're in the car, you're on live talking about, hit it, shoot him. I'm paraphrasing, but you're saying things like that and you have a woman who's not involved in the streets at all, driving the car. Do you realize that that is idiotic? That's pure stupidity? That's pure stupidity? We're talking about kids who should not be involved in the streets because they are dumb criminals. These kids were meant to do more than just be detriments to the community and be dumb criminals. Clearly, K. Flock had a higher purpose. That's why, as fate would have it, he was chosen to, to become successful at something other than being a criminal. He was a successful rapper. He was not a successful criminal. Do you realize all the stupidity that's involved with what he was doing, right? Let's say he was on live and they actually got out the car and did something stupid online, right? You already caught because you did a live act online. There's no way to defend that. Not only that, you got a chick involved who may or may not have kids or something like that, or she feel like she want to go to college or something like that in the future. That's an automatic snitch. The women always tell. The women always tell. And for him to not acknowledge that and, and, and act accordingly, knowing that there's a woman in the car, he shouldn't even put her in the position. Like, that's a built-in snitch. That's a built-in snitch. She would have never made it from, from, from the precinct to Rikers Island, she would have told being in handcuffs, right, in the police precinct, it would have been over. You know what I'm saying? He was not meant to be in the streets. And this is why going to prison is going to change his life for the better. Just like all the other young guys. Thing. Prison forces you to sit down and get your thoughts together. Like I was saying earlier, reflect on what you did wrong and think about the steps you need to take in order to better yourself. It makes you want to mentally prepare yourself to be a better person now. 
Some people, they come home, they revert back to their old ways. But most people, at least while they're in prison, they want to become something better. They want to defeat the recidivism rate. If you don't know what recidivism is, it's a statistic that says that within a certain amount of time of a prisoner going home, the chances of them going back. That's what that is, right? When you're in prison, you have the time, you have the time to learn about things you may never have learned about. It's true that a lot of inmates go to prison and they come home and they have all type of degrees this down the third. I got my GD while I was on Rikers Island, but you get a chance to enrich your mind, especially in the social media age where everyone has a phone, everyone's going live all the time, everyone has constant distractions, okay? He's a young kid who was constantly distracted and at the same time wanting to be tough, wanting to be lit, and then his 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 celebrity is rising, so he's feeling like he needs to be even more invested in being this super duper lit person, but there was no substance behind it. And being in prison allows you to enrich your mind, right? I'd have never read the book, The Autobiography of Malcolm X, had I not been in jail. I would never read the book, The 48 Laws of Power, had I not been in jail. The Art of Seduction, had I not been in jail. And even all those good hood novels like The Bulldog Crew and all those other books that I read, but at the end of the day, you have the opportunity to enrich your mind and have good conversations and get game from older men. You know what I'm saying? That's why he should remain locked up. Next, a lot of men get closer to God while they're behind bars. Some men turn Muslim. Some men get baptized again. Some were already baptized and they devote their lives to Christianity. And I'm not, and that's on the extreme end. But even on the smaller end of the spectrum, guys get closer to God. They get more in tune with their spirituality and their higher selves. And you have to be able to be in prison. A lot of times have nothing else to do, nothing better to do. And you begin to be introspective, like I said earlier. And you think about the things you've done. And you and your mind advances. Your heart grows. You start feeling compassion for people who you never used to feel compassion for. Prison does that to you. A lot of people say prison is supposed to rehabilitate you. But it doesn't rehabilitate you. They do have things in place that will rehabilitate you. But it all depends on its effectiveness and how serious you take it, all right? I was in prison. There was some form of counseling. There are there are uh, milestones that you have to reach if you want to go home earlier. There's programs you have to be involved in. There's anger management and things like that. You know, if you were known for being on drugs, there's drug counseling and things like that that you have to do. Now, if you don't care, you don't take it serious, then it won't have no effect on you. But being in prison and having your freedom taken away from you does give you the opportunity to rehabilitate yourself. It does. And K-Flock and all the other young guys, right? They will have that opportunity to get closer to God, reflect on themselves, build up their minds, all right? And, and allow themselves time to heal and grow. The last reason why K-Flock and in parentheses, all of the young guys living their life just like him deserve to remain locked up or be locked up, okay? It's because you never understand how valuable your freedom is until it's taken away from you. Period. Period. This is why people snitch. Because they realize how valuable their freedom is. And they say, I don't want to do the time now, even though I did the crime. Even though I wanted to be a big stepper. I don't want to be a big stepper and have to do the time as well. Right? Right? Never understand how valuable your freedom is until it's taken away from you. Speaking from someone whose freedom was taken away from them more than once. All right? I had to go to jail as a young teenager and a young adult to finally realize how valuable my freedom was. How valuable it is. And now that I have children, right? I'll do anything to remain free besides snitch. And because I know I'm not a rat, I don't do crimes. I don't do crimes because I know you do crimes. You go to jail, your freedom is taken away from you and you're gonna have to sit down. K Flock deserves to sit down and it's a privilege that he gets to sit down instead of just being in the grave. And, that's, and that'll be the end of his story. Anyone else on the opposite side, deep dang in them, they have a privilege to do time and have opportunity to change their, their, the way they think and to change their actions. Anyone else getting wrapped up in that, they have a privilege of doing time. 
And if you feel like they should be out right now, right? You don't care about them. Because you know who they would be if they were out right now. That's all I got to say.